Hello African Confessions, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and the message reads like this. My brother, I have a confession to make. I am from Malawi and I have done horrible things to my boss so that I don't lose my job. I am a lady in her late 40s. I came from Malawi and I came to South Africa to get a job as life was hard in my country. I got a job at a lodge somewhere at a tourist resort and my job was to be a housekeeper. I took care of the rooms for our guests and I also cleaned the madam's room. You see, these white people do not do their beds and they trusted me very much to do everything as I was very trustworthy. The lodge is not very big and when they started in 2011, I was alone and they also gave me a place to stay with my family. I worked for them for the whole year. Then the lady really liked me and she told me to bring my husband and our kids from Malawi. I then sent them money from my bonus and within a few days, my husband and our two children arrived in the country. My boss then arranged their permits to stay in the country too. Now the problem started when another lady came to join us. She knew her job very well and I felt like my job was at risk as they were going to start to like her more than they had liked me. The next three months I realized that I did not even know how to fold the bed like they do in the hotel and that lady was coming from a five-star hotel. She knew her job very well. I could see that my job was on the edge and my madam didn't like me anymore. This is what these white people will do to you. If you are their only worker, they will love you like you have never been loved in your life. But the moment that another person who is more experienced than you arrives at the scene and start working for them, they will discard you like you are garbage. That is what happened. When the madam realized that I didn't even know how to fold the bed like they do in the hotels, she tried to teach me a lot of stuff, but everything that she was teaching me, it seemed to be so complicated. My heart was broken to pieces the day when they hired that lady who was really good at doing her job. When I saw her doing her job, this was not good for me. This was a sign of the end. I didn't want to lose my job because my whole family was depending on this job. And at that time, I knew that if my boss was going to fire me, then you end up canceling my work permit. So me and my husband, we just had to stay. Before this lady had came to that lodge, it seemed as if I was the owner of that lodge. But when that lady came, then everything just turned around. I was now doing all of those chores that you could see that on this lodge, people do not want me anymore. The work that I was doing really required hard labor. But that lady who was still a new employee, she was doing all of the soft jobs and she knew that she had came to take my job away. She was not a nice woman, that one. That is when I told my husband, who then told me that should I lose this job, then the future of our children will be doomed. I don't want to lie. What I did is wrong. That is why I am writing this to you so that I can just get it off my chest. I then was advised to take her hair and bring it to Malawi. This was after I had spoken with my other auntie who was back in Malawi. I called her one day and I told her that if you see me not sending you any groceries, you have to know that here there is another woman who has stolen my job. And everyone in our family was depending on me because here and there I used to send most of my relatives money and groceries so that they can get something to eat. When this news reached my relatives, everyone was really sad. After I had told my relatives that if you see me not being able to send you money and not being able to send you groceries, then you have to know that there is another woman who is affecting the love that is between me and my bosses. She is the one who confused them. They don't like me anymore. All of those favors that they were doing for me, 
if you do not see me sending you more money, then you have to know that, yeah, I am in trouble. I am just trying to survive. One day, that is when one of my uncle told me, then he just said, when you come back here to Malawi, just try to take some of your bosses here. This was a simple instruction because I was the one who was doing all of the manual labor. That woman, she would just go into my boss's bedroom. Then she would just make the bed. She never swept or would do anything. She thought that now she owned the place. When she had finished doing all of the beds, she would go and sit and play with her phone. If our bosses will be out, then she will not work. And if I would ask her to come and help me, clean the rooms she would just say i have already done my job i am waiting for the customers to come because she was now also working in the front office but our boss had told us that we should help each other but to me she was saying that i am the boss since i am more experienced than you so one day when i was sweeping my boss's bedroom i just swept their bathroom and i took all of the hair strands that fell on the floor. You know that the white women, their hair, most of the times, it just falls off, especially when they are brushing their hair. The hair will be everywhere. So I took a dust pan and I collected all of the hair strands with that, with that dust pan and I placed the hair inside a very small plastic. I later managed to get two weeks off and I traveled to Malawi. Then I gave my uncle the hair. The very following morning, he came to our house because me and my uncle, we stay in the same village. Then we went to this other prophet with the hair. He did his magic and I came back to South Africa. From that day that I came back, my boss loved me again like the way that she loved me when I started working for her. They even made sure to increase my salary. When she is angry with me, she comes to shout at me and if I just look at her, she becomes so soft. Sometimes she can just hold my hand and she will say that I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. Sometimes she can even hug me and apologize to me. Not one bad word comes out of her mouth. When she wants to tell me what to do, sometimes I end up telling her how we are supposed to do it. Then she just agrees. Anything that I say, she agrees. That lady who was in competition with me, she was fired. And now my husband and me, we are the only ones who are working for the family. We are very secure that the jobs will not be given to anyone. I feel bad that I have given her something like a love potion and I control her. The only thing that they will never give you, these white people, is money. Love they will give you. But money, I have tried to do a lot of portions so that they can give me a lot of money. But on that one, I have failed. If I ever succeed in doing those portions so that they can give me a lot of money, if anyone comes, like recently, there were those people who came to our place. Like recently, they came to our place. They wanted to install fiber. So those men who were installing the fiber just said, the way that your bosses love you, it seems as if you are their own child. Why do they love you like this? The way that your bosses love you, it is like you are their own relative. But they do not know that I used something that is like a love potion so that I can control them. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins. Strange things do happen. Please, my dear sister. You can write to the one of our admins because you said that you did a lot of rituals when you wanted to get your salary. Please tell us what did you do. Dear listeners, let us meet again in the following episode.